You're watching CGTN Live in Dandong, northeastern China's Liaoning Province. I am Sun Tianyuan. And today we're going to take a visit to the Memorial Hall of the War to Resist U.S. Aggression and Aid Korea, also known as the Korean War. Now here we are at the lobby right now, and this is the statue uh, of Chairman Mao Zedong and uh, General Peng Dehuai, who was the supreme commander uh, for the Chinese side during the uh, Korean War. And on the left side uh, are soldiers who joined the fight in the front. And on the right side are civilians who helped logistics and production back home. All right. Okay, before we go, uh, Here's some basic information you need to know before our little tour. On June 25th, 1950, the Korean Civil War broke out. And four months later, forces led by the United States crossed the 38th parallel and pushed the war right to China's doorstep, the border across the Yalu River. And in light of the unfolding Cold War, Beijing viewed this as a severe threat to its national security. And at the Democratic People's Republic of Korea's request, China sent uh, hundreds of thousand soldiers across the river. Actually, that was on October uh, 19th, I believe, in 1950. Here are some photos. Well, the exhibition center was built in 1958, but not this one. Uh, it was later relocated to this location, which used to be the uh, uh, old commander center. Here's a jeep that the supreme commander used. And we can see some uh, uh, relics, including weapons, clothes. So this is a comparison between the Chinese army and the U.S. army back then. All the weapons, rocket launcher, machine guns, rifles, and that's the clothes we wore during the war. Uh, and back then, we don't have, we have no tanks or armor trucks or heavy artillery compared to the U.S. side. Uh, the hall is divided into several sections. This is one of them, one of the six sections. So here's a timeline of the major battles uh, during the war. Battle of Chang Cho Sing Lake, which is uh, at the early stage of the Korean War, where the Chinese army suffered great losses due to weather, severe weather, the cold. So there are about five major battles in the early stage, around the year of 1950 to 1951. So the invading forces fell back to the uh, 38th parallel after major battles in the early stages, around 1951. And for those of you who have just joined us, we are at a uh, memorial hall in Dandong, Chinese border city in northeastern. And this year marks the 70th anniversary of China's intervention in the Korean War against U.S.-led army. 
the Memorial Hall uh, is scheduled to open to the public tomorrow. And local authorities just held a short ceremony to mark the day. The Mandals who came here, uh, they're veterans, soldiers, police, and uh, doctors, students. Uh, here are more photos. Uh, oh, photos and weapons. Ah, that's some rifles. A used by the CPV, that's uh, Chinese People's Volunteer Army. And at the early stage of the war, uh, Chinese Air Force were involved. So the uh, armies led by the U.S. side had the dominance. But later, the Chinese Air Force joined the fight. The situation has been changed. And the forces usually attack the logistic line in the back, this is a statue to reenact the history. Well, it's a bit dark. Let's move on. All right. On our right side is a tunnel, actually a replica of the tunnel as a tactic we used uh, around 1952 to uh, to preserve forces during the war against bomb bombs and here we are at another battle major battle the battle of Shanggan Ling also known as the battle of Triangle Hill one of the bloodiest battles in the Korean War Uh, the Memorial Hall is actually five times bigger now than it originally was after several expansions. Earlier I talked to the staff and they told me they, uh, they hope the exhibition can help visitors uh, to gain a better insight into the devastating three-year conflict. So we're just taking a short tour in one of the sections but the entire tour is about uh, one and a half hours to two hours special operation tactics were used in the war for the first time I think we're almost at the end of the section. It's a short tour, but uh, I think it will help you have a you know, basic understanding of what happened in the war. So after several years of fighting, we finally reached an agreement to cease fire. The Chinese side consider it as a victory. Here are some uh, insignia of the armies that joined the war. All right. I think that brings us to the end of the tour. It's short, but uh, I hope you guys like it. And stay tuned for more. Bye for now.